Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitani r-razeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Wa Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulu Al-Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu, da'ifu, miskeenu, zalim, jahad, and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And alhamdulillah that Allah gave us a life in which to be blessed by these holy nights, dressed by these holy nights. And we pray that Allah dress us from the reality of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban's sainthood, that a saint before any saint created by 7,000 years, Fardul Alam, Fardul Arsh, Shah Kul, and that Mawlana Shah Naqshaban's read and satisfaction to be upon us and to dress us, inshaAllah. Do we have any questions for tonight? Um, Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi, um, what is the great secret of being a shaheed and how does it affect the connection with Allah? Does the person have a secret understand, understanding that it is loved by Allah? Mm. Great secret behind being a shaheed. Mm. That was <coughs> the reality of death before death. Why is there an echo when I… is that from my side or the reverb is too high? We can hear clearly here. We're clear there? So I'm just reverbing here. InshaAllah yeah. from mouth to qablan mouth to die before we die and that, that reality that uh, Imam Ali salam gives us in the holy month of Muharram to lie within the bed and sacrifice oneself for Sayyidina Muhammad And the immensity of sacrifice and self-sacrifice to reach Allah's Divinely pleasure. And the external jihad has one darajat and Sayyidina Muhammad granted the internal struggle. The jihad al-akbar is the internal struggle and it's higher. Fighting oneself is much higher than fighting other people. And the death by fighting oneself is mawt qabl al mawt. So means the misunderstanding from other faiths. The faith of Nabi Musa salam was to kill yourself for Allah to accept repentance. That's not from Islam. Anyone practicing that is following a different belief. So means Islam was you were to sacrifice yourself and your desires, your bad characteristics to reach Allah's satisfaction. And the fight against oneself has no victory that is clear. There's no gift, no reward, no bounty that you're going to receive and is the hardest struggle. The Muharram and the immense blessings of Muharram and the beginning of the hijrah means it's the beginning of every pilgrimage into the Divinely Presence. And the moon and the symbol of the moon because all our nasheeds that we're reciting Qamarun, Qamarun, Qamarun and we've talked on this subject for Insana Kamil that our life is to be like the moon and the moon only follows the sun. 
And the sun in our life, the source of eternal light in our life is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Because Allah is not in creation but Allah's sign is in creation and the greatest sign of Allah is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah left that sign for all of eternity for us. And he shows us by the reality of the sun that everything in your world is perishing. Everyone has come and gone but that sun is still there and it represents eternity for our understanding. When Allah said, you won't understand eternity, look at the sun. It's a power of fusion, so it's a clean energy. It produces so much heat that you can't even have fusion on earth yet. They don't understand how to bring that type of power and how to contain that type of power. And that sun is a symbol of love. That when you love that reality it begins to send a ray onto your soul. And as a result of you loving that reality, it takes your love and then it multiplies it by ten. Because Prophet described that, make a salawat upon me and Allah will send my soul to make ten salawats upon you. That's the formula for Divine fusion. So every time you make this salawat it's a dress of love. It needs no intention and it does not need to be its intention to be known, it's immediately dressed by Allah as an act of love. Every other amal, kunul amal bi niyat, every amal, every action has to be judged for Allah to judge and see what the intention before He gives punishment or reward. But love has no intention. As soon as we come to make that salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad that love goes to Prophet He takes that love and sends back ten powers from the Divinely Presence, ten which has no time because the world of light has no time we don't even understand what that ten means. But it comes from Divinely Presence and begins to dress your soul with an energy and a light you never had nor would you ever achieve by your actions and your amal. Not by your salah, not by your zakah, not by your saum and not by your hajj could you ever achieve one salawat from Sayyidina Muhammad Then you make another salawat and Prophet makes another ten salawats. You make another salawat and Prophet makes ten salawats. Before you know it you have entered into a relationship like a fusion. That your light is being multiplied by Sayyidina Muhammad sending it to you, you're taking that light, sending it back and before you know it you are turning into a light. And your soul is being dressed by an immense heat and in the association start they begin to emit a tremendous amount of heat and you become like a sunshine. And our whole life was to be like the moon and follow the sun. And we said, you see the moon it's been battered. The moon has no structures on it that are visible to your eyes have no buildings, have no nothing that is a distraction. Means it took a life of being tested and crushed and then die. The mawt qabl al mawt that these qamaroon and these moons they crush so much and they consistent in following the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and began to be dressed by that reality. And the moon has two faces. The moon has a face that is always following the earth because its rotation is different than the earth. 
One face of the moon is always facing the earth, it never shows a secret side of its back. That face of the moon that is visible to all of the earth are the known external khalifas, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq being the first salam. And that's the importance of Muharram and the beginning of the hijrah because these two main doors of Sayyidina Muhammad their secret is coming in Muharram. That's why the Kaaba has two doors with the, the doorknobs are hearts to symbolize for us this is the heart of Divinely Presence. It's symbolized with two doors. One door is the face of the moon Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq and that's with the majority and Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah and the path in which Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq went towards the cave. And all the secrets that were transpired and all the realities that were transpired that to follow my companions that they'll dress you with their Siddiqiyah character, they'll dress you from Holy Qur'an Sayyidina Usman al-Qani Jami al-Qur'an al-Majeed salam would dress from secrets of Holy Qur'an Sayyidina Imam Umar al-Farooq salam would dress you from the truth that you stand vigilant for the truth against every falsehood. And Sayyidina Ali salam would dress you with the Siddiqiyah character of chivalry and noble character. And Prophet is teaching us, be Qamarun, follow their reality, they've been dressed from these realities, they want to bless you with this truthful character, with that you're truthful in your deeds and in your actions. So then Muharram is a month in which we step and make our hijrah, Ya Rabbi we're asking to move towards your Divinely Presence. Follow the true example of the companions, the holy companions in which their holiness is their love for Sayyidina Muhammad and the character in which Prophet had dressed them with perfection. And from there they went from Mecca from the heart into the world of Malakut and the city of lights. And that hijrah is our external understanding that we're following all of this way and all of the reality of the companions. And then there was the secret of Imam Ali Salam lying on the bed that he took away of dying before death. And there was a secret passage from Mecca that they found when they were remodeling Mecca that there was an under, underground passageway from Mecca all the way to Medina. Because when Imam Ali Salaam lied into the bed to sacrifice himself and Allah blocked anyone from touching, after they left he went and appeared into Medina to Munawwara to welcome the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's, that's the reality that Prophet was describing when shaqqi wal qamar that when Prophet split the moon and that was the reality that teaching that my nation was split into two and then immediately he brought the moon back together. That moment was but a second we see it as a lifetime. And he was giving an isharat and a sign that my nation would split it into two. This is the difference between the, the Sunni and the Shia and that Prophet in the last days would bring them back as one moon, one reality, one, one secret of guidance. And that's for the external nation, the internal nation who follow the turuqs and the tariqahs, they understood the reality of the moon that its reality is that to be dressed from the Siddiqiyah reality and the holy companions. And if Prophet wants, he can give you from his family inheritance. That once you have a character that's truthful and the great Siddiqs have signed for your character, dressed you in your character, dressed you in your nobility and your chivalrous behaviour. Then 
Prophet can determine if he's going to grant you from his family inheritance. Which Imam Ali Salam stands at that door to grant the family inheritance and the secret that was given to the holy family of Sayyidina Muhammad which has no comparison, it's not comparable to anyone else's secret. If anyone has accompanied a shaykh or anyone whom is pious, love for their students is their students but love for their family has no comparison. No matter what anyone wants to say when you see the shaykh with his family and his heart's attachment for his family, that's his family. Imagine then Sayyidina Muhammad his companions is one place of his heart but his family is his family and that has its own reality and its own secret. So Muharram for us is an immense reality, Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah has a tremendous reality from all other turuqs that it took the perfection and the way of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq to make you from the Siddiqiyoon and to be truthful and have a characteristic which everything is for La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah means that their belief is that everything is for the establishment and tahzim and nabi because that was the inheritance that they received from their beloved grandfather Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq when he gave everything for Sayyidina Muhammad Means that their whole life is not that they empty their bank accounts but their life was that how can from what Allah gave to me, how can I glorify the magnificent status of Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad to make my jat and to make my descendants to be happy and proud of me. As a result they be dressed by that reality and then Imam Ali Salam granted the family secret in Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah by the secret of Sayyidina Qasim, Sayyidina Jafar as Sadiq, what they brought of their family inheritance from Imam Ali Salam, they brought that secret into Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah to grant the students that reality. Sayyidina Salaman al Farsi salam, who was granted to be family of Sayyidina Muhammad before any jihad, before any Ramadan, before any actions, when he merely told the story of his life and what his life stood for and his intention of all that he struggled for was to meet and to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad When Prophet heard the stories and said, yes this is true that Sayyidina Salaman al Farsi is my Ahlul Bayt and that was astonishing to all the companions. So it means this way of Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah is an immense reality, immense blessings. We pray that Allah dress us with this character, with these realities and then to struggle against our bad characteristic is the greatest jihad. The greatest fight is the fight against oneself to be dressed and blessed with all these realities inshaAllah. Click the link now to subscribe.